I love the money Lucas Money Money, 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 money We don't really know what you been talking about And you don't really wanna play You don't know what to say It's money, 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 money is what I'm talking about We don't really know what you always been talking about And I don't wanna be the one who always really talk about And you don't really wanna play You don't know what to say It's money, 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 money is what I'm talking about Money, 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 make you shut him off. Don't never ever talk about it if you never had the clout. You don't know what to say. Stay up out of my way. Cause money, 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 make me shut him off. Keep playing with this goonies, boy. I'm gonna have to make the call. Stay in bounds on your pivot, boy, if you gon' ball. Cause a lot of niggas be fake. And you really can't play. Cause we done got it out the mud, nigga, what you talking about? Surprise, this is homicide We just multiply We been on the rise If we got some wings, fuck it We gon' have to fly Money, 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 money What you talking about? Day in my life, I take me a different route And use all my case Niggas on my face You can get it right, what you talking about? Money, 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 money is what I'm talking about we don't really know what you been talking about And you don't really wanna play You don't know what to say Cause money, 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 money is what I'm talking about We don't really know what you always been talking about And I don't wanna be the one who always really talk about And you don't really wanna play You don't know what to say Cause money, 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 money is what I'm talking about you never crossing these borders. I'm whipping it up. Gordon Ramsay, I swear that I'm cooking these orders. You talk about me, you better just hope that you can just really afford it. I'm balling, I'm balling, I'm winning, I'm winning. I'm feeling like Robert Sahari. Nigga, I'm scoring. I count in the morning. They talk about me, then I gotta ignore it. My bitches be foreign. So independent, my money be corporate. These raps is boring. You hate me, and I'm always gonna adore it. I'm smoking that soaring. She always go ahead and let me explore it. I call Callin' my door up. You can go and talk about me, I ain't flawless I go put my all in If a nigga talk about me, then I'm gone in You know that I'm gone in Jumpin', take trips, Pompeii All day, always keep three stacks like Andre I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, man And you can never, ever, ever get rid of that So watch what you say And watch how you do Money, 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 money is what I'm talking about. We don't really know what you been talking about. And you don't really wanna play. You don't know what to say. Cause money, 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 money is what I'm talking about. We don't really know what you always been talking about. And I don't wanna be the one who always really talk about. And you don't really wanna play. You don't know what to say. Cause money, 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 money is what I'm talking about.
Staying on the line, I got some freakiness inside. It's all in me, I cannot hide. I tried and tried and I replied. Let me lay it on the line, I got some freakiness inside. It's all in me, I cannot hide. I tried and tried and I replied. Freaking the morning, freaking the evening, just like me. Just like me. Just like me. Freaking the morning, freaking the evening, just like me. Just like me. But you wanna get blessed by me I'm a real freaky girl, not a scroll out of that I'm a bustin' Have you screaming and cussing? It will not be no discussing Cause you want me one to From the table to the bed to the bed to the floor The floor, the floor, the floor, the floor Let me introduce you to a freaky, freaky wild girl I hop up on that dick and then I ride it like a cowgirl Bitches think they doing something they don't know
And play, fool. Yo. Mm. Uh, uh. The truth? Now that's a hard pill to swallow. Lots of folks will probably choke, but swear they want the whole bottle. And all I have in this world is my titty balls and my word. Been focused on my focus, fuck feelings, kick to the curb. And please, 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 no negativity I need. Don't need your lies neither. You can bite your tongue so that bitch bleed. It's hard to tell the truth, like, yeah, I fucked up and I cheated. Admit that I get jealous with my music and I feel defeated. Like, nah, babe, I ain't used. I misused you cause I felt misled I felt mis Or misled, but instead Rather be getting some yeah, head yeah, Loving yeah, you, making yeah, bread yeah, Right and wrongs, ripping uh, off thongs Little uh, breakfast and bed You ain't gotta lie to me, Rick You ain't gotta lie to get it I just want the truth Can you keep it true? Can you keep it true to me, babe? You ain't gotta lie to me, Rick
drama, you love you with class and you jazzy. And all these other niggas shoot the shot, but you ain't have it. Girl, you jazzy. And I love you to the moon and back, baby, girl, you jazzy. You everything a man could ever want, girl, you jazzy. You not about that drama, you love you with class and you jazzy. And all these other niggas shoot the shot, but you ain't have it. Girl, you jazzy. And I love you to the moon and back, baby, girl, you jazzy. Yeah, I'm talking about you, baby.
Shorty working at the strip club. Can't judge her, you know she got bills done. Can't judge her, you know she got kids done. Oh baby, daddy left no food done. Hey, shorty working at the strip club. Can't judge her, you know she got bills done. Can't judge her, you know she got kids done. Oh baby, daddy left no food though hey, I know it ain't easy hey, Make him understand you hey, Who the fuck is them hey, To judge you You the only one hey, Only one who got you You know what they say hey, Only God can judge you So do your shit hey, Whatever you do, just get that money right? Get that healthcare, they gon' talk I remember they gon' always talk That's the motivation Stand up, run, be patient, yeah. When you get the opportunity, take them chances, yeah. So do your shit, hey, hey. Whatever you do, just get that money, right? Hey, yeah. Don't get that gon' talk, but remember they gon' always talk. So do your shit, hey, hey. Whatever you do, just get that money, right? Don't get that gon' talk, but remember they gon' always talk. Shorty working at the strip club. Can't judge her, you know she got bills done. Can't judge her, you know she got kids done. Oh baby, daddy left no food dog Hey, shorty working at the street Can't judge her, you know she got bills dog Can't judge her, you know she got kids dog Oh baby, daddy left no food dog Hey, I know you got it right Hey, Don't let them turn you down like that Hand your business And watch them come around like that You don't need nobody cause God on your side You don't need nobody cause the fam on your side Hey, so do your shit, hey, hey Whatever you do, just get the money right Y'all think they gon' talk But remember, they gon' always talk So do your shit, hey, hey Whatever you do, just get the money right Y'all think they gon' talk But remember, they gon' always talk Shorty working at the strip club Can't judge her, you know she got bills done Can't judge her, you know she got kids done Oh baby, daddy left no food dog Hey, shorty working at the street Can't judge her, you know she got bills dog Can't judge her, you know she got kids dog Oh baby, daddy left no food dog hey. Twitter.com slash the real DJ 100 And play, fool. The truth? Now that's a hard pill to swallow. Lots of folks will probably choke, but swear they want the whole bottle. And all I have in this world is my titty balls and my word. Been focused on my focus, fuck feelings, kick to the curb. And please, 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 no negativity I need. Don't need your lies, neither. You can bite your tongue so that bitch bleed. It's hard to tell the truth, like, yeah, I fucked up and I cheated. Admit that I get jealous with my music and I feel defeated. Like, nah, babe, I ain't you. I misuse you cause I felt misleading I felt mis- Or misled, but yes. instead Rather be getting some yes. head yes. Loving yes. you, making yes. bread yes. Right and wrong, ripping off thongs Little uh. breakfast and bed You ain't got a lot of me, quick. You ain't got a lot of kids, I just want the truth Can you give it truth? Can you give it truth to me, babe? You ain't got a lot of me, quick. You ain't got a lot of kick, yeah. I just want the truth Yeah, you keep it true Yeah, you keep it true on me, babe yeah. And in is where I'm 
so deep and off the deep end is where we're going with so it, it how? Well, buddy, buddy, like, do you really love me? Keep really? it the buck or get the fuck? I let you in and you lucky, uh. hey, hey. And they pay, huh. like Joe to see. Like Joe I've been so see. outside of myself to even know they this even me. Know Trying to stay me. grounded with my grind and let me grow the tree. Ooh. Only rolling with them real grown-ups trying to grow. Trying to grow. Got yeah, the game on this cause school like you don't know me. What you, know what you want to do? I'm out the crew, go make a clone ha, ha. Shit, I've been down and been doing I've been Got down. my own brand and nobody could ever ruin it Hold You ain't gotta lie to me, Rick You ain't gotta lie to kick it I just want the truth Can you keep it true? Can you keep it true with me, Rick? You ain't gotta lie to me, Rick You ain't gotta lie
mind is what I'm talking about. You don't really know what you've been talking about. And you don't really want to play. You don't know what to say. It's money, 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 money is what I'm talking about. We don't really know what you always been talking about. And I don't want to be the one who always really talk about. And you don't really want to play. You don't know what to say. It's money, 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 money is what I'm talking about. You know, you got your hot song on Till Death Do Us Part. Yes. And I know everybody been wanting to see the voice in the person behind it. Yes. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. So what you been up to? Working on music, grinding, you know, being a mom. Yes, yes, yes. Getting it done, <laughs> for real. Now, um, I remember the last time I spoke to you, you was working on your project with Mr. Mike Cartel. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, how's that going, y'all? Um, it's building. coming along. It's almost finished. In the building. Yeah. Back What's the building. vibes you guys want? Man, everything. 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 <laughs> yeah. Like, we just meshing a bunch of stuff together. It sounds awesome. Everything yeah. sounds so good. Wide range from R&B, pop, yep. hip hop. All that. Little reggae. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. We working on it. <laughs> okay, and you know you guys you know we got versatile, man. Right? Yeah, I was gonna say y'all got the perfect team because if you guys don't know, Mike Cartel he produces beats. He's an engineer. He's an artist, like full around. So, how is it working with each other? Oh, um, honestly, we work well together because mm -hmm. we we mesh in harmony so mm -hmm. good. Like it's like wherever he yeah. lacks, I pick up. Wherever I right. lack, he picks up. Yep. So it works well. Connected. We bring different yeah. things to the table. Now, do you guys ever have, you know, some arguments? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you guys ever get yeah. in and you got one vision and, and he yeah. has yes, another we one? Do. It's, yeah. just, it's just a lack of uh, trust of, you know what I'm saying, what we're seeing, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. But once we, we get it on, like, in front of us on paper, it's like, right. okay, boom, all right, I see what you were saying. You know right. what I mean? Like, it, happens, it happens all the time, but it's Yeah, we definitely part do have of the our process. clash moments, but it's just because of the creativity, because yeah. we just two different people coming from two different places, yeah. so. Sometimes we bow heads, but I win. <laughs> <laughs> you already know. Well, um, Barrage, because when I first met you, you were rapping. So oh I want to know, like, on this new project, will we hear some rhymes from you? Um, I'm thinking about doing that. I haven't, we haven't, we was just talking about it, but I was thinking that maybe I want to hold back on that for a little while and just, like, okay. stay focused in one genre when it comes to, you know, singing and stuff. So. Okay. Now, since you're a songwriter, how do you keep from keeping yourself in a box? Um, honestly, I'm weird. So I just do, I try to create a creative space, like wherever I'm at. It don't matter what I'm doing, who I'm talking to. Somebody can say a sentence, and I'd be like, ooh, that's a, that's a lyric right there. Let me write <laughs> that down. And um, I could be watching TV, but I just definitely make sure that I keep a creative space around me, for sure. And what about you, Mike? Uh, I just try and challenge myself. Introduced to me, you know what I mean? Like even with her, like she's always like, "Hey, uh, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to like do some pop stuff, or I'm trying to do some rock stuff." You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, "All right, right. cool, let's do it." You know what I mean? Might take a little sample from like the '90s or the '80s or the '70s, mix it up, put some extra stuff in there or something like that. You know what I mean? Or make it from scratch. It really just depends on how we feeling. Right. You know what I mean? And I know definitely you. You have an old soul. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you're throwing some Aretha Franklin mm -hmm. with some Migos. Okay. And, and, and that'll be like a Mirage Stoner type beat. Like, where does that creativity come from? Because I never met somebody who literally can make like 10 songs in one day. <laughs> and, and you guys like, you know, I'm kidding. I'm not kidding at all. And, you know, not just make songs. Like, she can give you a story. <laughs> when you listen to Mirage's music, it's going to take you on a journey. You're going to know where we started. You're going to know the middle, the meat. And then you're going to know where we end. And you honestly feel like she just read a, wrote a novel. <laughs> <laughs> it's powerful yeah. stuff. Oh, thank you. 
Um, definitely from experience, I'll say. Um, I, I like telling stories in my music. Um, I'm trying to get to a place where I'm not always telling a story. Mm -hmm. where I'm just, I'm telling something, but it's not just a story. But um, it's just experience, you know. I feel like people can relate to what you've been through. You know, if you talking about something that you ain't really been through, then yeah. it's different. But it's crazy because I can write songs about things I haven't been through, and somebody be like, "Dang!" And I'll be right. like, "You know what? I don't even know where this came from. Like, right. I didn't even go through this." But somebody would be like. Felt that, and I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Right. You know, I think that's just God for real, for real. Honestly, yeah. honestly. So, you know, do you like pray over your music and yes, ask God I to give you a lot. walk through I your can't journey? Do, I can't do nothing without God for real. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I pray a lot. Um, it's like I need Him, you know, mm -hmm. and I feel like if I don't, then I'm off. Right. You know, so definitely. Um, sometimes I pray over my music, like if you can have. I might have like writer's block or something going on. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, no, I need a song. I'm feeling. I'm not feeling it, you know. So definitely. And what about for you, Mike? Yeah, it's the same. Um, like shit, I was in my studio uh, Friday night. Um, I just started making a beat, and then, uh, you know, one of my homies came through to get on the uh, on the song with me. And when I started writing, I first I prayed, prayed for God to you know give me songs, give me a song, get a bars, lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Double entendres, anything that I'm trying to, that makes a song a song, you know what I mean? Like a hit. Right. And I asked for that and got the specifics, you know what I mean? So that's just what my method is. And then, sure enough, like a few minutes later, I got a song. <laughs> right, <laughs> you know right, I mean? right. Yeah. So, um, Mirage, um, this project that you're doing, is it going to be like seven songs? Are you doing a long album? Um, I decided that I wanted to keep it, you know, not too but not too short, so probably like a good maybe seven to ten. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kind of okay, just enough. Right? Yeah. Right. Okay. And I know you got your project out. Yeah, well, first yeah, of all, yeah. Mike always got a project. <laughs> 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 Every time you know I interview Mike, he got yeah. something that he's working on, something that he that he already put on. Yeah. How do you produce music? You know, you have your artists, and then you have time to make your own music. Man, you gotta make time. Mm. Like I mean, cause I'm always chasing the money. I'm not gonna lie to you. Right. Cause you know. <laughs> Uh, life gets in the way, so I'm like, man, I gotta make sure I got, I got, I got the bag secured, you know what I mean? Right. But then, you know, the time is, is always right when it's, you know, what I'm saying, time for me to work on my stuff. I, if I always get this feeling, you know what I'm saying, or it might just be God just telling me, look, do this, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's time, it's time to work. And most of the time, like for real, for the tape, the tape I just dropped, like I really already had it together since last year. It's just life got in the way and I had to put it on hold. Mm. You know what I'm saying? When the time was right, I was able to finish it. And get it out there. It's the same thing with another tape that that is just about to drop this uh, this summer. So yeah, it's already it's already together. Just gotta mentally master it, put it out there. Right. You know what I mean? Now, as artists, how do you figure out when the time is right? Like, man, it's just it's just feeling. You just gotta be in tune. You know what I mean? It's just with anything. You gotta be in tune with God all the time, and He gonna tell you. He gonna He gonna tell you when it's time. You know what I mean? Just be patient. Just stay down. You know what I mean? Just you're going to be like, damn, you're going to wake up one day and be like, oh, it's time. <laughs> you feel me? Like, you just and what about it. you, Mirage? Because I know you've been doing a lot of collabs lately yeah. and stuff like that. So how did you come up with, you know what, it's time for me to work on my own stuff? Um, honestly, I have been like hard calling like music from like years ago. Mm. And like out of nowhere, I woke up and was like, I need to drop this music. So like during um, October of 2018, I dropped few songs on SoundCloud, but I just, I want to move to a new place as an artist, and I feel like keeping that music in was going to keep me in that place, so I had to do that, but I have that habit of holding on to music, so now I'm like, let me just drop it, let me just drop it and get it out now, so that way I can move forward. Right, so you're like uh -huh. a music hoarder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am, I am. <laughs> she I got am. music in the stash, she uh -huh. music in the stash. Well, you know, what can we expect coming um, up next for you? Like, are you gonna get into more performing? Are you working on your vocals? Like, what what is your main focus right now? I'm definitely working on my vocals, like all the time, every day. I know my phone is probably irritated. It's probably <laughs> humming and hawing all the <laughs> time. <laughs> um, I'm definitely about to get back into performing. I haven't performed in a while, but I definitely want to get back into that because I love performing. Right, right, yeah. right. 
so you get like a natural high from yeah, from, from your fans and, yeah. and stuff like that. For sure. And speaking of fans, um, you two have your song on "Till Death Do Us Part." Like, how mm -hmm. did that come about? Like, you know, shout out to uh, mm -hmm. Silk yeah. White. Shout out to um, Sue yeah. on uh, "Love Hurts" and "Till Death Do Us Part." Um, how did all that come about, and how were you guys feeling about that? Well, um, you was like, hey, look. <laughs> 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 they was like, the bus, like straight up. <laughs> well, <laughs> you <laughs> said. <laughs> 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 she, right. Now you hit us up. You was like, "Look, we made a new uh, new theme song for his new show that's about to drop." Mm -hmm. And <laughs> we ain't gonna lie, we was we, we was kind of struggled because we was like, "Man, we, this we gotta." We ain't really have a whole lot of time for real. You know right. what I'm saying? Doing other things, and so we we kind of made that a priority. Mm -hmm. And then shoot, like the day before. The day before. We was like, "Look, we got to do this. Thing. We got to do, do it right, right now." now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, uh, and I actually sent her a beat that I had made some some months ago. Mm -hmm. And I was just sitting on it because I didn't know what to do with it for real. Send it to her. She was like, just send me anything. Send it to her. She was like, you got a song. So we got in the studio and started started recording. I was like, yeah. that's tight. Right. I was like, that's right. tight. And we, and you know, like Silk don't know this, but we were like shaking in our boots. Because yes. we like, <laughs> Mirage is like, I send it to you. And then I'm like, yeah. oh, shoot. Like uh, the master, yeah. you know, we got to make sure. <laughs> right. You're like, please, She's I hope like, he like So it. I'm like, I'm going to send it to yeah. him. I'm going to send it to him. And. She like, wait, wait, like, what did he say? I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, you know what, I'm going to call right. because you got to make right. sure you stay on because <laughs> yes, he's yes. so busy and stuff like that. So um, when he approved it, you he know. He liked it. And I was like, yes, shit. I felt like a little kid. I we like, already oh. know. <laughs> <laughs> so um, do you, how do you like that feeling? Like, do you see yourself being on, like, power and star and, and things like that? Because you're a songwriter first. Yeah. Um, um, I definitely see myself doing it, um, doing more theme songs for people in TV shows and movies and stuff like that. Um, I want to get into acting, but that's like a whole nother element in life that I got to get ready for. But definitely, um, I'm like, I'm loving the love that we get from the song. Like, I'm all in the comments. I'm like, right, oh my right, God, right. Yo, the it. comments, like, the comments are crazy. Who made that? And I'm like, who is me? <laughs> oh, yeah, check out, then, um, you put it up on there, right? Oh, yeah, we put it up on SoundCloud. Yes. So if you guys want to hear it, make sure you go check that out on my Mirage Stoner SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I'm telling you, this. The comments are crazy. They're always yes. loving it. They said they're singing the, the tunes. Yeah. Like yes. it's like like really really yeah, addictive. Really so, cool. um, and when we were at the Titan Awards, people were like, "You the girl who sings the uh -huh. song?" Right, right, like, right, yeah, that's right. me. Mm. Yeah, so it was definitely dope. So for real. Mm. So it feels good to you know, because you've been doing this for a while. I have. So and you too, Mike. So I know it feels um really good to start getting recognized Most for your definitely. music. Yeah. Most because definitely. you know a lot of the times as independent artists or in the independent anything is so difficult to get that respect when you're on your grind and so mm -hmm. when you finally start putting stuff out and people start loving it the way you want them to that feeling is just yeah, amazing it's like yeah. shoot um after i dropped talk um not talk about i'm sorry um my newest tape uh diary of love my mother called me and was like i listened to your tape like she don't she don't really listen to my my type of music mm -hmm. i mean it was r&b but she was like you know i'm proud of you and I, i'm just and shell shock that this is my son, you know what I'm saying? Right. And that made me feel good, like to hear my mom saying that. Right. And she don't really listen to my music like that. So, right. yeah, it was just surreal. But um, she was just like, just, I need some clean music, dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I know, I know. When yeah. I was uh, started acting and stuff, I was real nervous yeah. to give my mom the link. Cause um, I'm like, oh no, like, you know, <laughs> you know my character, and she's kind of wild. Right. And I was like, I don't know if my mom's gonna like it, but she's literally addicted and she yeah. watches every Sunday, you know okay. what I mean? That's so tough. I'm so excited that, you know, she's a part of it and yeah. she's supporting it. And um, it just feels good because when you've been grinding for so long and it just seems like you're never gonna get a breakthrough mm -hmm. and you finally start getting one, mm -hmm. you be on cloud nine. Yeah. Definitely. Shout out to Mama Mango. Shout out yeah. to Mama Mango. Yeah. What about you? Like, how's, how's your parents feeling? My about? mother is really like, before she wasn't so supportive, when we, me and my brother, we both do music, so. Um, he doesn't do it anymore. He does acting. But when we were kids, she was like, I'm not raising no kid actors or uh, kid stars. So if y'all want to do it, y'all got to wait till y'all grown. So once I, you know, became an adult and started doing it, she kind of wasn't there all the way. Because she's not really into, like, high-pitched singing. <laughs> 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 she don't like, like, Mariah Carey and stuff. When she gets to a certain point, she's like, uh-uh, I can't hear that. I can't turn it. I got to turn it off. <laughs> so when I be in the house practicing, she be like, you making too much noise. I'm like, come on, mom, for real. Oh but now God. she she reposting my music and stuff and everything. And she's like, you have a very beautiful voice. And she compliments me. So I'm like, all right, okay. I see it. I see it. Now, with you having a daughter, um, 
how do you feel about her getting into the arts? Like, do you feel like you will want her to wait? Or you're like, you know what, experience with this now. She's a dancer, and she dances for the church, but um, she does, like, hip-hop dancing, too. And it's like, it's her passion. I see how much she loves it, and I see how much she takes it on. So if she had the opportunity to do something like that, like for dancing or something like that, I would definitely have to, like, monitor and, like, right. keep my eyes. But I would let her do it, but it's, I have to be, like, a part of it all. Absolutely. No, Everything. No outside uh-uh. Not mm-hmm. at all. <laughs> <laughs> Not my baby. <laughs> At all, okay, <laughs> for real. And you know, I definitely do agree with that because, um, you know, I was a professional dancer when I was young. Yeah. And my mom, she didn't really know how to be like a manager or she didn't know anything about the arts. So to her, she was like, well, you need to go to school, you need to go to mm-hmm. school. And I missed a lot of opportunities for that. And so, you know, with my son, he plays football and, you know, I try to push him and push him because not a lot of people respect the arts. Yeah. Now it's a little bit different in this day and age. But, you know, back then, my mom didn't really understand it. And all she seen was, you know, people's money being mismanaged. And she was like, oh, no, you're not about to go that route. Right. So we want to focus on, on on college. And me personally, I don't feel like college is for everyone. Yeah. What I went to college for, it was some bullish. <laughs> Honestly, I could have saved my money because I learned more just watching people, you know, DJ and watching people or or media just watching people and learning and YouTube and things and just being myself. And a lot of the times, you know, we're just so focused on going to college and people embed these things in our ourselves since we're younger kids. Now, I'm not telling people not to go to college, but what I'm saying is I don't personally feel it's for everyone. What, what do you think? Um, I didn't go to college. Um, I don't want to say I'm opposed to it because I, I have family members who've gone and graduated and, you know, made it and everything was successful for them. Um, I feel like it's a to each his own type situation, right, you right. know. Um, I don't feel like you should beat yourself up if you don't graduate or you don't make it, right. you know. There's always so many opportunities that you could take and go for with, you know. A lot of the millionaires and billionaires of the world didn't even make it out of high school, a lot okay. of them, so... Um, it's all about your motivation and your ambition and, like, you know, your dream, for real, for real, and, like, what you believe in and how you want to go about your life, you know, because you only get to live this one once, you know? Definitely. And what about you, Mike? Yeah, I mean, I agree with you. You know what I mean? I, I went to college. Um, I didn't finish, but, you know, I didn't I didn't beat myself up about it. I kind of just kept going. Like, I just thought about it as a, as a learning experience. Like, I went right. down there, I met good men. Right, you know right, saying, right. That, that, you know what I'm saying, got some connections and everything. That was in Florida, you know what I mean? But the, I, I needed to experience, you know, that college experience and being in a whole other state, but finishing part wasn't really supposed to happen for me, you know what I mean? I feel you. So, I mean, yeah, I just think it's, it should be a choice. It's not a demand, you know what I'm saying? It's not a, a definite thing that you have to do, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So. Well, guys, we're going to take a commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to bring this kinky killer corn on over here. And I just want to let y'all know that uh, Bar Radio is playing in West Virginia, y'all, so definitely go and check that out. And I'm your girl, Miss Jazzy Mango, a.k.a. Miss Tiffany. I love hurts on the Silk White YouTube channel. Make sure y'all keep tuning in, because you already know, tonight, 12 a.m., Tiffany about to get it lit. (laughs) We'll be back, y'all. Keep it rolling. Cause I told my mom about you And none of my homies 
love in the doubts They all know I'm crazy about you So you never put no Love it how you keep it real with me You ain't got a problem setting me straight You can deal with me This kind of love don't come around too often And I'm gonna love you unconditional Till a man of coffee
Bullets in my brain, they keep on bothering me Rather roll up and have model women swallowing me My karma cool, I do the right thing like I'm Spike fucking Lee I just might flip up my hat, proceed to spark up some trees Come, come, come with me, no relief Come and come, have me speaking in tongue Have you thinking you dumb? Yeah, the rag has been rung And I am squeezing it out Now watch it drip, drip, drip Preferably in the mouth On them knees, they do bow Conquer me, really how In the corner, corner, corner I'm the queen, I don't bow Like a seed in your mouth Need that now, now, now Walk a flock up with it Make me bust like bow, bow, bow Hold up South by Southwest. How yes. was the experience? It was, was your first time. No, this is my second time. Okay. It was love. Um, I mean, the first time I went, you know, I performed and stuff, but this time I'm just, I'm, I'm have a whole different mindset. Right. Yeah. I mean, they loved me. I loved them. It was tight. I um, I went to a lot of light, a lot of light shows, and from an artist's point of view, I got to look at things differently. Like, okay, mm. it's like all type of different things, different genres, different. And I was like, because I had that show coming up, so I just, right. it was like homework, like school. But I had fun too. I, lo <laughs> I, I lost my voice one night. That was shot, messed up. So and you I, were screaming all night. Probably. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> as you know, when you lose your voice and you wake up, you're like, wait, I was I that loud in the club? Yeah, and then I had an interview. Oh boy. A phone interview at home with ninety three point nine, and I okay, uh, I sounded like. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how important do you feel like it is for every artist to get down there? Because I know that's like the mecca of independent artists. I just think that, yeah, you have to experience it because you can be walking down the street and meet. I think so many people both times that it's like, oh, I know them, but but it's like an opportunity where you might just be getting a taco at the stand and talk to somebody, and that's right. that person. And it's for acting, for tech, it's your film, all of it. It's not just for music. For everything, and then I think all those things go together. That's why the festival is like that, and it's just love. It's like it gives artists a chance to be around each other and learn about each other and work and love each other. Right. For real, it was all love, like for real. Both that's times right. I went, it wasn't that hot this time. Thank God. Oh, cause yeah, that's the Last one thing I was going to ask you about. I don't know. I don't know. I can't really do this. No, when like I that. went, I went in 2016. That's when I first. <laughs> 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 it was so motherfucking hot. I drank coconut water the whole time. <laughs> I ain't even want to drink no liquor. That's all right, right, right. Yes, me. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was hot as shit, but it, it's worth it. And you meet. Um, I met like a lot of people there who taught me a lot, mm -hmm. just off conversation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's a different. It's Texas is different. Of course, that's where you know that's where Erica from and stuff. So, right. Um, I realized that I had fans out there, and I had like fans in New Orleans, and you know you don't meet. Cause I ask people, I still be like, how you know? You know, I still be like, how you know me? <laughs> right, right, right. I can see if we at home, but it's like out of town. I not want to know. Right. And they be like, oh well, I found you from somebody page. Well, I'm from New York, and I'm from here. I'm like, okay, well, yeah. So let me know, baby. Fine. Keep on doing it till you get to know me some more. So Absolutely. Right. Whatever I'm doing. What's um the different vibe that they have in Texas than from the DMV area? Um, I don't want to say no, but it was just like it's a, it's it's kind of it's the, well, it's the food <laughs> 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 because the vibe is like similar like. Because I see if I, right now the DMV music and this period it's it's loving everybody can it together. Right. So when I remember doing it for a minute, and the crab in the barrel mentality or that stigma, I, I just don't feel it. Maybe it's mm. me, because people love me and I love them back. I reciprocate. Right. But we coming together, and it, out there it was just like 
You can wear what you want to wear. You do you? You might see all types of women, right? right. But it's like okay, it's 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 non judgmental. Yeah. I can say that. I like that. It's open yeah. and it's free for real. Yeah. Right. You can start a show on the street. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You don't and have to have a show. That's what I'm gonna say. Artists, you can go. You don't have to have a show. You don't have to be. Not, man, somebody gonna play the drums. Somebody gonna do this. Somebody gonna set up. Right. If you wanna do it, you do it right there and do your thing with them. The night that, that I wanted to do it, I, I, my voice was messed up. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, that's what it is. It's like a big old melting pot of like music and love and, and nice food. Yeah. I love that. That's great. Now, speaking of coming together, you were at the Titans Awards and you guys did a very powerful song. How did that come oh, um, to play? I, um, I wasn't on that song. Okay. But so I shout out to everybody that was on there. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. And I did win my two Titan Awards. I yes, you did. That. How did you feel when you won those? I was surprised a little bit. Um, you were surprised. I, I was because I ain't. Like, <laughs> I thought I was. I didn't want to win. I want to win everything, but <laughs> video, video of the year. But when I got the female artist of the year, I was like, oh, okay, now. I, I was. I was happy. I was. I mean, you know, I appreciate everything that's that's given to me and mm -hmm. stuff for me, like from everybody. So I was like. Cause I was at the bar. I didn't think I was going. Um, I won the first one. Mm -hmm. You caught me off guard. Yeah, you were. <laughs> I was like, I'm talking, and then, and I, they, and then it was like pink. You think I'm like, oh me? <laughs> <laughs> no, just the girl with the pink hair. Yeah, that's that's one of that's gonna be the name of one of my projects too. The girl okay. with the pink hair. So nice. I want to go talk about that. Like, how do you come up with the name for your projects? Because your music is very much you. Yeah. Like when you listen to your music, you be like, this girl Easier was chilling way. in the car and she was in a vibe. And Literally, she made a song. I made, like, <laughs> no, you're right. I made, what was it? Coming, made that sitting in front of the Apple store, waiting forever, sound joy sign. And my producer, Airplay Smoke, shout out Airplay, um, he was with me and he had his laptop and he was making beats and I was like, because we bought the shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it was like, that's when I made Coming. Um, but the titles, um, it's actually, what I was going through at the time, you know, the growing pains and of the separation from elevation, mm. you know, because everybody can't go, don't mm. always work out, you don't usually end up with who you started out with. And me, I would like to do that, but Absolutely. we realized in the past two years, a lot has changed in my career, which, you know, for the better, but I had to, I felt like, no, I'm, you know, we want everybody to go and they can't go for whatever reason that it happened. Right. And I didn't used to like to be alone. Mm. at all, but I realized that that's what I need. Yeah. So it was kind of like the universe forced me to see that I'm good. Mm -hmm. And so Pinky and the Pain was just that, like, I was going through a lot of pain, and then, of course, it's a play off Pinky and the Brain. Right. But um, well, my sis, one of my sisters was like, I'm tired of him, because I was crying, and I'm <laughs> like, Pinky and the Pain, and I'm like, that's it, Pinky and the Pain. Yeah. yeah. And that was that. And when I was little, I used to get teased about the pinky and the brains. And Got you. I liked the cartoon on the low, but I used to be like, don't call me that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and I do that too with my music. It gives you that opportunity with all my art. Everything I was teased about or mm. now I, they love it. Like, you know, I'm, I'm a, from my voice to the way I dress to my, everything. Right. Now you said, um, you know, at your listening party, shout out to that. I, I had an amazing yes, time. Yes, I'm psyched to say. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. I, I had an amazing time. I was nervous to come too. I ain't even gonna front. I was like, oh god, I don't know. Why you was nervous? I was like, I, like you said, I was. I'm. Sometimes I get in that place where I'm nervous to be alone, and I came out by myself. Yeah, you and did. I'm not from here. But see, so where are you from? I'm from New York. Oh, so okay. me coming out by myself is a whole nother thing. But you have a whole. I'm happy you got it. I was like, shit. <laughs> by yourself, you had this whole vibe. Thank energy. you. I'm like, <laughs> it was it was great. Like I loved it, and I loved the vibe. I loved how people just interact. When I first moved here, all I heard was you. For real, everybody <laughs> like you can how ask Mirage. I've been here for about two and a half years now. Like all I heard was like, see. You. I told you my city love me, and I love them too. <laughs> and it I was I'm a hundred percent a fan. And Thank you. your project this time is completely different. Yes. And I know yes. when you were at your listening party, you expressed that. You got a little bit into emotional, singing, emotional. a little more emotional, and you were able to show your vulnerable side. How, yes. how was that for you? Um, it was different. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it wasn't that easy, but it, it was, it's necessary. Absolutely. Period. If you're not making music or whatever you're doing, you have to get to know yourself and be alone mm -hmm. with yourself. Mm -hmm. And me knowing myself, Ooh, I learned a lot about myself. Yeah. Somebody can tell you something, but if you feel like this about yourself, mm. and you realize that, damn, this is how I am, and this is what it is, mm -hmm. and you want to change it, whether it be for the, you know, however it go, I just realized that 
Damn, I got to really do this. And and the best way, to, my only way to express it is through writing. So if I'm, like, a lot of those songs came from just writing, just, mm -hmm. like, journal entries. And I turned them into songs. It's like, I got to get a lot. And then I couldn't record. And I, I couldn't turn up if I was in pain. Right. 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 And I didn't just, it's not like a down sad. Right. I still Absolutely. got my, I still do me. I put my spin on it. But, yeah, it's not, it ain't all. Um, and it's hard to, like, in front of a whole bunch of people tell you the truth, but you got to. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And I feel better. Like, I almost cried there. I almost mm -hmm, cried. Mm -hmm. I'll be about to cry. It was, it was I'm like about to cry. It was I'm, like a, I'm about to cry experience. as first. <laughs> yeah, it was and people intense. don't probably know that. Yeah. And I'll be like, ooh. Well, you ever see me turn around on stage when I come out? <laughs> if I turn around? Because I had to catch right. myself. Either yeah. I'm overwhelmed with by the love or, you know, it's just like a lot. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's new. It's, it's I have expectations. And then just be a lot going on. But everything works out in the end. Like, and then it just all love. Yeah. Shout out to Grindstone Media. Yes, that's absolutely. Love Grindstone. That's, that's the clothing label. Mm -hmm. You know, everything. That, um, we've been doing this together, and it's just genuine. I, I have yeah, nothing I but, that. you know, just got to keep going, keep the momentum going. And how do you um, maintain? You know, um, it's very difficult to find people like that in this industry. Um, how did you come across? Has that been best friend for you? Being, it's just being that, you know what I mean? Uh, being that myself, and I attract that. Mm. You know, mm. like I said, I reciprocate that. So, again, I was loyal to, I'm, I try my best to be loyal to, to everything and everyone. But, you know, I won't be a part of it. But everybody doesn't show that same thing. And I stopped getting upset about, you know, people being themselves. Show me who you are already. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I can learn. And, right. you know, I'd rather have been them than now or later on when, they, when I'm even with money here than now. Right. You know what I'm saying? And my loyalty is not based on that. And neither is my team. It's just believing in me. I have to have people who I know believe in me, and that's where it comes from. And I and I treat them how they, you know. I mean, I ain't, you know, we we got our time. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> this might not be a good day every right. day. Yeah, yeah, right. I might get a snap. But I appreciate it, and I reciprocate honestly. Like if you do something for me, I appreciate it, and I know that you don't have to. So, and I keep it tight. My circle, of me, you know, like it's small because. I don't need people in the rap game. You think you need? I don't like a whole bunch of people. I don't need you mm -hmm. in my session around mm -hmm. me. I don't need an entourage. Like when I go out, they be like, "Oh, it's just you and Tiffany." Or it might just be me and Grindstone and me and Dino or something. Right. Because I'm still gonna do me. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And I've also learned too. Um, you know, when you first start making music, you want people to. Your friends and family are going to come, and then when they not. So mm -hmm. I learned that. I'm happy that I made. A I don't have. If nobody that I know comes to my show, people who I don't know will come. Right. Absolutely. And I, I'm not saying it in a way like, you know how they got them posts and stuff like, mm -hmm. you won't have to move. No, I'm not saying it in a negative way. It just is what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, and then they'll come back again and what they want. Right. right. I do this for me. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's my, you know, when I was younger, I started writing. I write so I won't fight. Mm -hmm. I express mm -hmm. myself through my music. Sure. <laughs> I'm right. That is I like that. So for you, writing is, is therapy. Yes. And, um, I know for you, Mariah, writing is therapy, sure. too. Yeah. yeah, because it's like you can go home like Moesha used to do. <laughs> and write. It's a diary. <laughs> because if I diary. write about it, like I said, I won't fight with it. I will, I won't, it's out of me. And when I make songs about things, and I do, I'm, I'm very open and honest with it now. Mm -hmm. That's when you know, like, right, I'm, I'm learning to learn. And I like it, though. Right. But then you see people liking and reacting and, and or understanding and relating to what you're going through, like you were saying earlier. Right. Because I'm just saying what it is. Mm -hmm. I, ain't, I ain't in there trying to make no banger. Right. <laughs> right. Just I can, raw. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. And I like that you, you just mentioned that, both of you, because a lot of the times people are in the music game for the wrong reason. They're trying to make these hit songs or, or get the clout. And it's like, just be you. Write, yeah. write how you're feeling. And if the people going to feel it, they're going to feel yeah, it. Yeah, because somebody going to feel it. If yeah. they don't, you feel it. Yeah. Right. Right. It's right. music. It's for you. It's for right. me. And I appreciate everybody for supporting and loving and, and liking it and all that, but I'm doing this for me. I'm, I'm going to always, I've been writing since forever. You know, right. I won a lot of essay contests when I was young. I write. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. uh, how was it like um, growing up in, you know, D.C.? Um, how was Pinky as a child? Because <laughs> uh, when you talk, you talk as though you've been through a lot and you've grown from what you've been through. Yeah, I mean, I've been through a lot and I've definitely grown a lot. And that comes with growing pains. Right. Um, <coughs> well, I was an honor roll student. I'll say that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> School was easy. Yeah. And so I wasn't always challenged. But, you know, I had a bunch of behavioral issues. I got it. Well, growing up in D.C., you know, we don't have gangs or nothing. But, you know, you have 
hoods and you know we fight and we beef and all that and you know you, I was a product of nonviolence mm. mm. and I'm not using that as an excuse you know because I still am right. you know and, and it's stage in my life but yeah I mean I, I'm, I'm I love my city if it wasn't for DC there'd be no me the go go music like just just being me is this is DC is uptown like and we have our own you know I'm a trendsetter right from our music to our clothes to the way we talk our logo like I made we make up things I don't wanna I've always, I never, I'm not from Atlanta, grew up from Georgia Avenue. Mm. So when people, you know, like, when that first started, and everybody, I'm like, nah, I can't conform. I ain't going to try to be like, I can never try to be like nobody else. Right. I'm going to be me. I'm going to make y'all want to be like me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Or not, whatever. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I'm going to do me. So growing up in D.C. was, it was, I mean, I don't even say it was tough. It was fun. It was, it was a, definitely a learning experience, I, you know. I'm ten toes. Down. <laughs> down, I know that's crazy. And have you always had, you know, the backing of your city? Because yes. they they support you. Yes, I have. You know, and it's crazy. Like on on my Biggie cover, and I say, uh, I be getting love from people that I didn't like, because I be getting love from bitches that I used to fight, mm. like right, <laughs> like, you know, like literally. I remember that moment when I came out this. I mean, because I come from a go-go era, so okay. it's. I don't know if we, uh, when I was in Texas, we were talking about, um, um, was I in Texas? What? They, they, came, they do Marsh Pits and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So, like, rough it all. That's like our. Right. Yeah, I was talking to Kareem, I was talking to my DJ. Just like, you know, it was, it, go-go wasn't no uh, easy situation. Mm-hmm. You got to be able to, you know, do it. And I did it. And I, and I learned from it. And I, I developed my sound from it. It made me be who I am. You know what I'm saying? So, DC made me. I love DC. I am DC. I don't have any tattoos. Talks about me, but if I did, I had a DC. Like, <laughs> like, DC like, I'd have took his whole little idea. Like, middle, nigga, I, I'm from DC, yeah. Right. I'd have been DC Pinko. Right. <laughs> now, um, I'm gonna ask you this question first, Faraz. Um, what are some struggles that you experienced as being an independent artist? Um, not knowing exactly what to do, you know, because mm. when you got a manager or you got somebody that's like, you know, guiding you through or making moves for you or making calls, even if you got an assistant. Mm-hmm. Um, or somebody coaching for you, you know, like sometimes you might make a move that you're not supposed to, or maybe mm-hmm. you might miss out on an opportunity because you're not sure, you know, the manager's going to be like, look, we're going to be here, we're going to do this. Right, 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 absolutely. And absolutely. Um, I definitely will say that. I, I, it's a lot of trial and error when you um, are independent artists because you got to figure things out for yourself a lot, you know. But that's what helps make you. That's what's yeah, going to make you better sure. than the ones yeah. who have somebody. Yeah, because I definitely had to, do I learned a lot, like, so far just, from me doing what I've been doing. But I, I, I will say that I have, like, um, met a lot of cool people mm-hmm. who um, I can connect with. So even if I don't have a manager, I could call somebody and be like, hey, so I want to do this, you know what I'm saying? Do you think this is a good idea? And they'd be like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. Shit, I might call you. I'm like, girl, look, I said this. <laughs> you know, I'm shut should it I down delete quick. it? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, should I delete this? I don't know if I should do this because I'm an open person. Like, right. um, I could be closed and I could be open. It depends on who you are and, like, mm. how I am around you. So, like, I could be, like, an open book for real. I might say some other stuff. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I could be a little vulgar. So, you, right, know, right, right. Like, you know, let me be, you know, try to clean it up a little bit. But, I don't know, I guess, I guess it's just, like, um, you learn as you go. Absolutely. You know? And what about you, Manifesto? Wow. You had to say your My question one more time. <laughs> no, um, yeah. you know, what are some trials you've been through as oh. an independent artist? <laughs> Man, just thinking everybody's going to, you know, have the same heart as me. That's, mm. that's the number one downfall. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because it hurts. You know what I'm saying? You put so much Absolutely. trust in somebody, Absolutely. you know what I mean, that you, that you feel is genuine, that you really got connected to, and then mm-hmm. they turn around and do some. Some fuck shit. You know, in the pain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But, you know, you live and you learn. So we just got to go with it. You know what I mean? But, I mean, with for instance, I mean, just picking up an artist, you know what I'm saying, doing everything for that artist that you, you know what I'm saying, like you would yourself, and then they turn around and just, and just fuck you over. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's just, but that, that comes with it. You know what I'm saying? You, just, you never know who you can trust. That, that just goes to show you that you can't put your heart into everything and everyone. You know what I'm saying? Cause you bound to get, you bound mm-hmm. to get stepped on. Yeah. People just did to, people that really, some people are in your life to really, that really fuck with you and really see you win. Some people in there for a moment of time to get what they came from. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. 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 And, and how do you feel about that, Pinky? 
What about uh, like um, struggles that you've just been through being an independent artist? Oh, yeah, everything that y'all just said, I agree with. Mm-hmm. I told you I was in the bathroom agreeing with what y'all was saying. <laughs> um, <laughs> She's like, let me get my lipstick. Yeah, I was doing my makeup. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm doing my makeup. But, um, but see, my thing is, is it, it, there are struggles, but I learn from my struggles. Absolutely. So, like, one of the questions I'm always asked as an independent artist, I do think that, of course, you know, like, the backing or, um, you know, the look. Yeah. Because yeah. in the yeah. industry now, it's not based off your talent all, all the time. Yeah. Right. And being right. somebody that's talented, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm talented. Okay. Right. 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 But being talented, somebody that's absolutely. talented yeah. and, and you working hard and you feel like you deserve it, you know you deserve it, but it's given to someone. But I don't want nothing given to me. Mm-hmm. You know, I say in one of my songs, too, I can put a wig on the pig and give him a gig. <laughs> some, people, <laughs> some people are made, like Yo, created. Absolutely. Right. Some people are like, look, you put this on, you do this, you say this, you, and it works, and, they, and it feels good. Then you have people like us who are really artists who are, you know, we over here going through pain. Right, right. 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 We, <laughs> we over here emotionally. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. And it's like, if you're going to feel it, I don't really understand this is what's really going on. So that's one of the struggles. I mean, it's like you're kind of sometimes overlooked, but that is definitely changing. Mm. Being an independent artist is the thing. Yeah, yeah it is. Mm. Yeah. And it's for a reason because right. you, any, I don't care if you was a, if you was a, a tow truck, whatever you are, driver. Doing it independently, being independent is the best way to be. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Why would you want to be dependent on anybody? Sure, anybody yeah. else. Yeah. Yeah. You, know you should be as long. independent as possible. And, yeah. and what you were saying earlier, you got to go through those things because then you you will learn. If somebody mm-hmm. fucked you over, I won't do that again. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. Mm-hmm. As opposed mm-hmm. to having somebody help you. So you you can't even feel the pain and learn the lesson because mm-hmm. it's all being done for you. Right. right. Exactly. So as much as it hurts, I like to go through it. Yeah. What I've gone through, yeah. it makes me stronger. Most definitely. Right. So bring it on. Yeah. Yes, bring it on. <laughs> it, it makes it, it makes it, it makes it so much sweeter. You know what I'm saying? Like Absolutely. if you if you just if it just handed straight to you. Yeah, like in the no game, silver like platter. What, what they say? Um, the faster you get in, the faster you out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like I'd rather weather the storm and get in there because my all exactly. that bread, all that time, all that. You know what I'm saying? Everything's gonna be so much sweeter. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's I, have why I be about to cry when we're yeah. still, yeah. still having good. <laughs> I be like, I be like, right now. that's why I be like that because all that comes in my head. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To turn around and see all these, you know, like at the Eric of our do shows mm-hmm. last time right. mm-hmm. when I said hold up. When all the people said hold up back, I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> he was like, wait, this is real. Yeah, we made uh-huh. it because <laughs> I kind of black out on stage. Yeah. So you know, and I don't, I don't want to see. I want to connect with like one or two people, somebody right. a focal point. Other than that, I don't want to see all these people. Right. Because <laughs> <laughs> I knew, I knew it was sold out in his pocket and all that stuff, and I'm yeah. like, I can't. I'm so happy it was dark. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Right. Mm-hmm. And right. the lights came on, and I said, I, I said, okay, hold on. <laughs> 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 Was really, and, and they actually, you could see their faces, and they like, ah, and I'm like, damn, I couldn't even do the selfie because I was so overwhelmed by the right, noise. You right, know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I don't care if it's ten people, or right? Fucking ten thousand. Yeah. Right. If you have people right there who don't know you, or who do know you, yeah. But especially if they know, and they just like fucking with you like that. It's like, damn, I be wanting to go down there and give everybody else. I know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm I can only imagine. Kind of yeah. yeah. Like you know how yeah. beautiful that Cause is. Because it's like. This is your baby. Yes. yes. You know what I mean? Like, this is your baby. Yes. And when you that's expose exactly it to it other people, that's your vulnerability. Yes. Mm-hmm. And for somebody to take care of you, it's like a baby. Yo, yes. you taking care that's of my exactly baby. Right. You, you know my baby. Good and you yeah, know, know my And you appreciate it like uh-huh. how I appreciate it. You loving it. my baby. Of course you got to show that mm-hmm. love. Okay. You know what I mean? You got to definitely show. smelling all good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sounding all good. <laughs> right. It's just, it's just so good. And you three are amazing artists and you also are very creative like everybody's individual style up here is unique and that's something that you can't surpass that's not nothing you could package up and sell exactly that's something that was embedded in you that's something that god gave you like your style how you feel in the morning you're like you know i'm I'm rocking this this is what i'm doing (laughs) and you're like i'm rocking this and this is what i'm saying you're like this is what i'm doing for you to have that confidence is only great. Confidence. You said, yeah. you said the key word. Yeah. I just was telling I was saying the other day, you can be <laughs> you can be like the cutest thing mm-hmm. in the world. Mm-hmm. And if, if you don't have that confidence, it's yeah. unattractive. Exactly. Absolutely. You can be the ugliest nigga around the way, but that confidence is attractive. Uh-huh. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's just it's just no, like, again, knowing yourself. Mm-hmm. I say I know where my ass at. Yeah. And they will never leave. They ain't gonna right. touch them. I know. I know. <laughs> you, know what I'm saying? you just gotta be showing right. yourself. Yeah. Like yeah. you're not showing your own music. 
Nobody Ain't nobody else. exactly. But you, you gotta mm-hmm. get to know yourself. Yeah, you gotta and that shit time. hurts because yeah. you be like, damn, I'm gonna guess I'm gonna do right. This. Exactly. I'm like, oh, I thought I was you be like, like this. you know what? I'm like, wait a like me. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, you, yeah, and you learn how people. It's like, and it's easy to say, I don't care what nobody think. That's some bullshit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I care. You do yeah. care. You should care. You do. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, when I grew up, when I was younger, they didn't like all that stuff I did. They didn't understand. Let me say this. They didn't understand it. A lot of things that. Like, you know, from down to the crystals and the stones and mm-hmm. the, all that mm-hmm. stuff, the way we were taught when I was younger, right. they used to tease us for that stuff. But now everybody doing it. But I don't right. take it like, I don't take it like, oh, now mm-hmm. everybody doing that. I'm just now like, they, right. they didn't I'm understand. Now right. they do. Now they get it. I'm happy they get it. Right. That's it. Right. <laughs> but don't be trying to do too much. Don't be trying to drop me out now. Yeah. Come on. Let me no. do me. What do your crystals mean to you? Because I know a lot of people I have different meanings that. to them. I know they carry yeah, a lot of well strength. this is a uh, yeah, well I mean this right here, this is a uh, Man, calcite. Beautiful. This is Scorpio, because I don't got no mm. tattoos. Do you if I had, right. I had tattoos, <laughs> I just had you right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um this is an organite that it's beautiful. Yeah. Um circulate energy and it's um she made this for me, Ray. And um actually I met her through Malik. You know Malik the drummer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. After the Earth of Badu show. It's like a piece of my hair in here. Oh, it's like this is for me. Mm-hmm. Right. she me, she and I had long conversations. And she said, I'm gonna make you something. And so it um it charges my crystals. Mm. You know, and it also helps I can charge my water on it. It helps uh the what's the shit called? It's something with cell phones and all the electronics. Oh, okay. it, it, you know, the just really yeah, 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 yeah. So and it looks tight. It, it does. does. Yeah, it <laughs> do, it do. <laughs> you know, I feel like it's working because <laughs> your energy right now yeah. is real yeah. strong. Oh, yeah, thank you. It's yeah. like electrifying. They told me that when I was in LA too. No, it yeah. is electrifying. No, they was coming. They were fine. <laughs> like, I this? feel high. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I was about to say. I was about to say and they like we was at the office, uh, Gibson Street, near Rhinestone, and we was you know giving away the clothes and stuff, and they like these are like. Actors, act, you know how you don't know their names. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I know who, like, but I you know, know you, I know like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm like, no, my mother used to watch the story. Yeah, like, all this shit. So they're like, where's this energy over here? I'm like, well, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but you know. And um, I charge my crystals, and I meditate, and I set my intentions, and I write things mm-hmm. down when I manifest things, and it works. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My calendar for this year when I got my first calendar. I was like, I want a calendar, and I went to the store just to try to get a water. And the man was like, you want a calendar? I said, get the fuck out of here. Yes, I want a calendar. <laughs> <laughs> it was at the little they farm. Right, it was crazy, right, right? right? So, and then I, the first thing I wrote on a calendar, because I, I was planning on being in Texas, but mm-hmm. I wanted to do the show with Earth Day. I said, fuck that. I'm like, I'm opening up Earth Day Day, and that's how that shit went. Yeah. Mm. Yep. And, I, and I said it, and I meant it. Mm-hmm. Right. And it happened. Yeah, so that's that. definitely. Oh, it happened amazing. every time. It happened yeah. last time too. I write down what I want. Sometimes I write down what I don't want. I burn it up. You know, I charge like I'm yeah. like this last yeah. full moon. I was like, yeah, this is about to happen. Yeah. I was chasing for joy. I was outside. Yeah. I did it, and I and I, and I know it worked. Right. But it, everything is mental though too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it is. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? I'm definitely yeah. learning that because you know when you go through like trauma or things in your life you can carry that negativity and you don't even know you're being negative. Yes. Like, mm-hmm. I'll say things and Got to watch people be like, say. wow, yeah. that's negative. And, to, and I'm not even registering it like that. Like I'm just right. like, that's no. normal. Yeah. Right. And when yeah. you're speaking it or if you're around it, it carries. And so that's something that I'm really working on because it's like in my spirit, I'm so positive. And I just want to get that out. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And you don't know because, again, that's what you're used to. Yeah. And once you start getting to know yourself, you're like, okay, damn, this don't sound too. Like I just said, I could be like, oh, now y'all want to be on a nigga. Now y'all want to mm-hmm. do this and that. No, I just say they didn't understand. And now yeah. they understand. Because yeah. that's yeah. what it is, honestly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They didn't understand. So now they do. Mm-hmm. I don't, I'm, I'm not, some people be like, oh, nah, I don't want this. Like, nah. I'm, I'm not mad at them liking it now or understanding it now or wanting to be like that now because it's not something bad to be. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And it can be more than everybody is a beacon of light. Everybody can shine collectively. So I ain't trying just because now you, you ain't know I've been shining. Yeah. I've been shining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right, right. You the one that was missing. You up. missed okay. it. Caught off. Yeah. Now, you, now you catching up. <laughs> yeah, I'm light, but I'm heavy. I know that's right. 
All right, y'all, we're going to go to another commercial break. You're now rocking with Jazzy Mingo with the Jazzy Mingo Red Carpet Lounge. I got my girl Pinky Killer Corn over Hello. here, Mirage Stone over hey, here, hey. and Mike Cartel oh in the man. building. I hope y'all <laughs> tuning in because these jewels we dropping honestly shouldn't be for free. Yeah. Let's get it. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got me feeling all um, nope. smart and shit. <laughs> <laughs> For real. It's a way. I'm telling I'm like, you. This would be so much better if we would just. Ooh. I know. Pass it around. All right. We got a problem. We got a problem. We, we, we got a problem. We, we got a problem. We got a problem. We got a problem. Blowing a band like who give a fuck 
Hit the trap and I'm bouncing back Spit more offense, I can't get enough Don't really fuck with that Gucci stuff But I might cop me some fresh cuffs Me and the money, we fell in love I Keep coming back and shake the lust Hit the mall Pop a tag Spend it all Make it back Designer in my bag, my money Gucci Spending money like it's nothing to me Hit the mall Pop a tag It's Mr. Cole. Hey. No more on Fakta. Hey. Shorty work. Shorty work. Hey. Hey. Shorty work. Shorty work. Shorty work. Shorty work. Shorty work. Shout out to DJ 100. He won't stack a star. Hey. Go. Hey. Shorty working at the strip club. Can't judge her, you know she got bills done. Can't judge her, you know she got kids done. Her baby daddy left no food done. Hey, shorty working at the strip club. Can't judge her, you know she got bills done. Can't judge her, you know she got 
I kissed her Oh baby daddy left no food though hey, I know it ain't easy Make him understand you hey, Who the fuck is them hey, To judge you You the only one hey, Only one who got you You know what they say hey, Only God can judge you So do your shit hey, hey, Whatever you do just get the money right Don't get they gon' talk I remember they gon' always talk That's the motivation Stand up, run, be patient, yeah. When you get the opportunity, take them chances, yeah. So do your shit, hey, hey. Whatever you do, just get that money, right? Hey, yeah. Don't get they gon' talk, but remember they gon' always talk. So do your shit, hey, hey. Whatever you do, just get that money, right? Don't get they gon' talk, but remember they gon' always talk. Shorty working at the strip club. Can't judge her, you know she got bills done. Can't judge her, you know she got kids done. Oh baby, daddy left no food dog. Hey, shorty working at the strip club. I can't judge her, you know she got bills dog. Can't judge her, you know she got kids dog. Oh baby, daddy left no food dog. I know you got it right. Don't let them turn you down like that. Hand your business and watch them come around like that. You don't need nobody cause. God on your side You don't need nobody cause the fam on your side Hey, so do your shit, hey, hey Whatever you do, just get the money right Y'all think they gon' talk But remember, they gon' always talk So do your shit, hey, hey Whatever you do, just get the money right Y'all think they gon' talk But remember, they gon' always talk Shorty working at the strip club Can't judge her, you know she got bills done Can't judge her, you know she got kids done Oh baby, daddy left no food dog. Hey, shorty working at the strip club. Can't judge her, you know she got bills dog. Can't judge her, you know she got kids dog. Oh baby, daddy left no food dog. Hey. Niggas, yeah, we winning now We pop bottles, yeah, we chillin' now Ain't got a break, you know you see, yeah And everybody wanna be, yeah We in the back now, oh, oh, oh.
to my team, you know they hold it down Gorilla for my fans, you know they come around white youtube channel i want y'all to go look at that it's the hottest web series we got over six million views guys right now um i play miss uh tiffany she's a gullible girl she's married to a 40 year old rapper with her boyfriend but tiffany get into a lot of mess <laughs> she don't she know she got daddy issues so she be making bad choices when it comes to men but tonight is Aaron 12 a.m on the silk white youtube channel and guys, the um, finale is coming out. If you go to goodtogofilms.com, and that's G-O-O, -O, number two, films.com, and purchase the finale of the subscription is only $2.99, y'all, for all the hottest shows, the hottest web series. He's also got Till Death Do Us Part on there. We got my homeboy, Mr. Mike Cartel. He's on the hand I was dealt, yeah, killing it. Know. So, you know, you definitely want to go yeah, check it out and check their music yeah. out. Yeah. It's, it's lit, it's lit. Yeah. But um, no further ado, we have my homegirl, Miss Mirage Stoner, in the building. She's going to perform her hit song, Blissful. So I hope you guys are ready because this sound that you're about to hear is about to blow you away. Let's get it.
follow me on Instagram, M-I-R-A-G-E underscore S-T-O-N-E-R, Mirage Stoner. Thank you so much. Yes, y'all. Yeah. That was so amazing, guys. That angelic voice, I didn't steer y'all wrong. Like, did I steer y'all wrong? Amen. When I tell you she killed the mic, how you feel about that? Man, that's lovely. Hey, right? you produced yeah. that and everything? Yeah. I feel so studio, good. Matches, and the yeah. vibes is just so right. Yeah. And uh, you just, you just, that was so beautiful, right? Thank you. Oh my God. I, I'm, 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 listen, I'm like a proud mom. Like, <laughs> she came out here and she did it, y'all. Well, we're going to have Miss Pinky Killicorn get over there and do her thing like she do her thing. But I am so proud of these women. We over here representing for Women International Month. We're doing a damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yes. Oh, do, do, do. I done shot a tune. <laughs> Y'all ready? We're going to keep it moving. I hope you guys are enjoying this. And definitely make sure you watch uh, Love Hurts tonight at 12 a.m. on the Silk White YouTube channel. And make sure you guys check out uh, uh, the bar, you know, playing in West Virginia right now. But we're going to head on over to the stage again. And we got Miss Pinky Killicorn about Woo! to kill the stage. She going to play with that. Hola. 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 <laughs> you killed that shit. <laughs> Uh, what the what, what the what, look Look at me, I'm screaming like you up a trap and stuff Clap it, clap it, clap it up, clap it up Drink some shit up, 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 Hey, up, 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 Hey, Is out now. Again, I'm Pinky Killer Corn. That's P I N K Y K I L L A C O R N. That's Killer Killer Corn Corn. Thank you. Yes. Daddy wasn't there. Peace. Yes, yes, y'all. Give it up for Miss Pinky Killer Corn. I, listen, I'm just feeling the vibes. You got all these women up here. You know, we got my cartel too. We ain't going to exclude you. <laughs> but I just feel so amazing. These ladies just came over here and they killed it. They did their thing. They and they vibe. We you, we lit. That's my new Thank you. We lit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah. Hey, that, that beat though, yes. like that joint is like it's it's straight up go go. I love that. I love that. You, she on. You got her on now. Hold up. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, I ain't, I ain't even gonna lie. I was like, nah. and then remember when she said something? You said something about your mother, uh, nigga Mariah Curry. Hot bitch. I laughed. You seen me laugh, but I was like, yeah, damn. She was but now I get it. <laughs> but you do sing high shit, and you do it good. Everybody can't do that. Nope. Nope. I damn sure can't do it. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Yes. Oh my gosh. But I like the song. I like the lyrics. I like. I like that song. Thank you. Tell us like, your I was inspiration. To say focus, I seen you vibing. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I told him. I was like, damn. And you wrote that. Yeah. Yes, girl. Yeah. Thank you so much. You gonna what? Yeah, please tell me because I don't know. Honestly, I was, I'm not going to lie, I was in a situation with somebody that I shouldn't have been with. <laughs> and um, that's why the first few lyrics to stay another night, I know this may not be right. Yeah. Um, but I wanted it to be a, a progressive song. That's why the second verse is another week and the third verse is yeah. another month and yeah. it's, it is forever. Cause it's yeah, like, I, it's I was feeling yeah. all that shit. I heard you. I <laughs> felt you. I wanted it to be like a raw song. Honestly, I wrote the um. The hook first. The hook came to me first. I was like, oh. I like that shit, girl. <laughs> That's the like best shit. Yes. You know, in real relationships, like it's not always hunky dory. Yes. It's not everything yes. is not perfect. So it's like, you know, you get on your boo nerves and they be like, and you be like, I know I just got on your nerves, but I still, still love you. It's <laughs> all your shit like that. I know I'm gonna like all your shit. Listen, oh, you're gonna love you. all her shit. And I stuff. like it's true different. shit. That's like my shit. You know, I like thank real, you. like you, it's transparent. Like you just gonna, and people like that, like, you know. It's not, I don't you. get that look like how you mean. I'm mad. If I'm mad, bitch. <laughs> 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 right, but it's, like, it's still cute. It's still no, cute. but I like, really like know, it, though. I know. So they say much. that shit all the time. Like, oh, my God. Thank you so much. Absolutely. It was tight. <laughs> I appreciate that. And you better breathe and don't get on your own damn nerves. I yeah. like that. I, I really do. I like the whole song. I, you know what? Yeah. I just I love, love your this. performance. You I'm happy. happy. I like it. I'm happy. Because I'm like, okay, but it's you see, you make a motherfucker want to shut up and listen. Yeah. And that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to turn him up. And that's what that pinky in the pain was. Like, yeah. I was on that type of day. Yeah. And that's sure. different as fuck for me. So I'm like. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here blushing. I'm trying to get my shit together. Well, you should, because that was good. I like <laughs> Thank that. you so that much. That was good. You sound good. I love the song. I like the vibe. Oh. I woke up with a cold. I was like. Yeah, yeah, she did. Yeah, yeah. yeah she was like, I don't know. I, I, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I had a whole emotional breakdown this morning. <laughs> well, you I know pushed she the did. fuck through. <laughs> yes, she yeah. did. You hit them high notes. She did it because she know I was, was going to hit her. I was related. So you see my eyes? I was like, yes, 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 yeah, yes, yes. Because yeah. I, I, I texted her. I was like, oh, but I'm, I don't care. I'm still coming. I'm yeah, still yeah. Man, I ain't. I'm happy yeah, I came. I'm happy. happy. We all can't happy. I we do too. Now. And I'm just loving, like, you know, because they always say, you know, women are catty and they can't work oh together. And this vibe on here has just been amazing. Like, just you even just encouraging her and you yeah. encouraging yeah. her. It, is, it just feels so good. It's electrifying. That song, yeah. that shit felt good. I, yeah. was, I was feeling that yeah. shit. It really did. Okay. It really did. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, we got work. We got to write some we stuff We got to do some stuff. For yeah. real. Absolutely. Yeah, look, yeah. You and Bowie, huh? Where y'all at? Oh, and Bowie. Okay. Right there. That's right like that. from I'm, I'm from, you know, that's, that's still far shit. It's yeah. far. <laughs> right. When you uptown, it's far. Right, right. Yeah. But no, we going to make it work. Yeah. And you made the beat. No, nah, I ain't made that beat, but oh, I, okay. I did the I recording and mixing the mastering. Okay. Yeah. But I do okay. make the majority of her, her yeah, beats. Yeah, my new even music, my own. The, the new stuff that yeah. I'm working on now is, is mainly. Oh, uh, we going to work on some shit. I like yeah. that. I just wanted to Thank say. You. I'm so happy I did. <laughs> I like your music, too. I was cranking it while I put my makeup on. Oh. Yes. That, the answer jump? Yes. Answer. Yeah, see, that's that type of <laughs> <Yes. thing. laughs> That's one of them joints. Uh -huh. Like, fuck it. Yeah. It's just you like just that. Yeah, when you be in situations and you talk about it. situations, right. And I can relate to that. Be the inspiration for most of my music too. Like yeah, because if you don't, you'll go. You know, you mm. you or you might go off on that person. You, I, yeah. I just write a little song. Right, song. Right. You know, y'all giving me therapy because <laughs> <'cause laughs> you know I gotta get my journal. No, because that's Swear how she writes me too. When she going through something, that's the only time she. That's the only time I write music. Yeah, it's fucked up because somebody gonna relate to that shit. Yeah, yeah. hell yeah. yeah. Like we played a couple of my songs like before you came in, yeah. and I like when I go through stuff, I gotta write. Because like you're saying, then I might have to fight. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. now I might have to write more. Yeah. Because when you get into doing a lot of stuff, you meet a lot of people and their energies be off. Yeah. <laughs> their energies be off and it, it rubs on to it you. It drains you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It'll steal and, you. And we're all caring people. Yes. So people's, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, other people's oh, energy man. does affect and don't, us. And you can't let nobody, nobody fuck up. You know, if you're yeah. careful to stay that way. Yeah, exactly, like, exactly. Yeah, it's I just, had to learn that. I wanted, I wanted to learn that. Like, I had gotten my heart broken a few times, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to give this lot good code. 
And then I was like, you know what? This is me. This is who mm-hmm. I am. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm going to take it and keep it moving. Mm-hmm. This, this is who I am. Yeah. And when you write I'm not going to be mean to somebody else just because somebody else heard me. You can say that I was here. And now I'm here. Now look at me. Yep. Absolutely. So for I'll go down the line for you, Mike. What do we have in the future for you for coming up? Any oh shows? Uh, uh, not no shows right now. Um, I'm really just focusing on getting the music back out because I haven't dropped nothing in like since you know since I dropped Diary of Love. Like it was almost a year. That's yeah. not good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, it's on. Yeah, it's on Apple Music good. and Spotify, yeah, yeah. man. Check okay, it well out for I'm gonna me. get all y'all shit. And I'm yeah. gonna listen to it because yeah. I definitely, I really fucking like that. Yeah, thank <laughs> you, thank you. Yeah, um, but yeah, it's just. I really love just, you know what I'm saying, a bunch of, like, experiences I went through in love and, you know what I mean, just pain and happy times, you know what I'm saying, that's all that, yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. um, but um, this summer I'm going to drop a tape called uh, The Goat, mm. but uh, it's self-explanatory, you know what I'm saying, because, exactly. I mean, I do, exactly. I call myself that because I do all types of genres, you know what I'm saying, right. I don't just do R&B, I don't just do hip-hop, I do everything, you feel me, so right. you're going to oh hear yeah, yeah, yeah. a beat. Well, we might gotta put you to the test. Yeah, I'm, hey, uh-huh. I'm up for the challenge. Okay. <laughs> I'm no, he really is good. And what I like about you as an artist, Mike, because as a man, you're not afraid to be vulnerable. Yeah, nah. And a lot of the yeah. time, especially in our black men, they feel afraid to do that. Yeah. So when you listen to your music, you give me that old school. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> so you know, I, I want to commend you with yeah. that. Yeah. And what about you, Mirage? Um, me and him got our project us. Um, United Souls okay. coming up. Um, okay. Titles, <laughs> yeah. these titles are everything. Um, I'm, we, I don't have a full date on when we're going to do it, mm-hmm. finish it, but um, mm-hmm. it's going to definitely come out this year for sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then after we do our thing with that, then I'm going to um, drop my project, which I don't have a name for yet. Okay, that's okay. It's you um, going to write it down. But um, I still got my music going. <laughs> <laughs> what you going to do? Fuck is up. Okay, what right. the fuck is up? <laughs> Yeah, write that shit down. Okay, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come up with it, but uh, I'm definitely about to start performing more because this is my first time performing in two years. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. we gonna perform at the. Yeah. yeah. I'm like Pink Killer Concert. I'm about to start. I'm about to start doing some more stuff. Yeah. yeah. But and then I'm home and we gonna make sure that sure. they gonna yeah. hear that shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> for sure. For sure. But definitely, I'm. I'm every day. I'm doing something. I'm writing stuff down. Mm. It could be a little hmm hmm ha. I yes, he was, he was telling me because yeah. I was serious. He was telling me about how you know how you got some old. Right. And another yeah, thing is too, yeah. it's only old to you, right? right. That's yeah. what I keep telling her. Jazzy tells me that all the time. All she all was the time. like, "Girl, they didn't hear that." I hate that right. so bad. <laughs> I be finna, you think yeah. I'm gonna put my song up? I be wanting to hurry up. Yeah. One just, of my first songs they put on the radio was old, and they kept saying, you know, we had a meeting. One of them was old, right. and then you know, I'm like, look, that's the one because you know why? Because I said that song. Yeah. Not on no. This is you know what it is. In the most yeah, respectful sure. way, this is the fucking one. Yeah, and go with it. Right, <laughs> for sure. Cause I got a song called "So High," and I'm still, and I wrote that okay. song. And that's I mean, that's on like 2014. Right. Look, I'm about yeah. to bring it's back good. some stuff that I did that I felt like I didn't get enough recognition. Yeah. Yeah. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. Do what you want. When you yeah. I N D E P D E S C D, you know what that means. I got my own job. I got my own job. Hula, hula, hula. Hey, 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 hey. That was for the Women's Month. That's for International Women's Month, (laughs) y'all. But for real, though. That is, for real. Seriously, Seriously. though. Okay. And uh, well, for on a music tip with me, I got two new tracks coming out with Mr. Oscar D. Yes. So I'm excited for that. Y'all ain't heard yes. music from me in I a very, very, very okay, long time. Okay, I'm excited. I want to hear all this yes, shit. Yes, yes, very long yes. time. You know, I've been focusing on acting, but I'm definitely getting back out there. I'm really, really excited. It's been a lot of stuff going on, so I'm excited for my fans to hear it. And um, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. Don't mind me. I'm, I'm, I'm like excited. It's, it's a whole, it's it's a, and it's a little different than what I've been giving y'all. So that's yeah. why I'm really excited. Okay. I'm happy I came. <laughs> I would say that's the first I'm thing I would say. I'm happy you came too. We, yes. Yeah. It was a whole day. It was. A situation. Yes. Yeah. And, and what about you, Pinky? I know you just performed last night. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like she just got off the got that? off the plane how from South that? by South. No. Right. But like, how was yeah. Erica yeah. Badu? Oh, like, what, what was up? That shit was love. I mean, yeah. you know, yeah. it's um, it's always uh, a great experience. It's a learning experience. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, and I wasn't nervous. I wasn't. You know what? I wasn't nervous the last time either. I don't know. I just uh, eventually. I'm just, I felt like that's, it's just, it's yeah, I felt like I can't do like this. You made like, you, know. you are made Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. So um, it was fun. And I always gain new fans. Right. I seen that people. on your, your story. Yeah, yeah. I'd be psyched yeah, about that part. Because I look at people, I still be like, damn. Because my, my fan base is, is ranges. Right, right. right. And so some people, I'd be like, you know, I don't, 
You know, I talk about what I talk about. And I'm like, oh, you right. like that shit? Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing. Like, people, you will be amazed with who and what who likes your stuff. Yeah. 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 And then because I just. We all go through the same thing. I think it just, yes. <laughs> that's what I said. It doesn't yeah. matter what age, what color, what anything. You yeah. People go through the same shit. Yes. Yeah. And people can relate to it. If it's one person. <coughs> but I mean, last night was love. And it was, I'm still, I'm still high off of it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. And this time I was in it. Mm. Sometimes I'm. S- that's no, why you can't exactly be all you thinking too much. Yeah, yeah. you gotta get out your Because you, you'll be, you won't be in it. Right. You, you know how I felt? You would feel like I can't wait till it's over, so I can be like, no, 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 mm. can't feel like that. Right. I did feel like that. <coughs> like just because you're over, because it's pressure. Right. right. <laughs> but yeah. it's like, no, I just be in it, mm. and and I was in it, and I was like, okay, this is tight. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I always, always find somebody who. I ain't really feeling me like that in the crowd. Of course. Mm. Cause it's not only my crowd, you know, it's not my show. Right. 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 So and I just <coughs> make sure that I make sure before they leave, mm. they feeling me. I like that. Me. Yeah. And it like always that. works. By yeah. the time I get the sheets and funnels, because yeah. we just relatable <laughs> things. Right. Right. That's right. why right. your name itself, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. It makes somebody say, Look, they gonna look at look at names and uh-huh. shit like that. Then we get to share. Uh-huh. And it by that time it's like it go from mm-hmm. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I see your hand, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. So what do you have coming oh, up? Oh, um, good. Well, right now I have Pinky in the Pain out. Dropped in February 1st. Very excited. Yes, yes, yes. Grindstone Music. And my next project is called Corn Liquor. Mm. You won't be on there. Okay. Look at me. that. Look at that. And it's because it's fun and it's whatever. I'm saying it's yes, a note that I'm your mom don't like. Right. <laughs> I don't have a, cause, yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Because I had yeah. so much of a direction with the pinky and the pain mm-hmm. that I don't want to do shit but have fucking fun and make I know that's right. I want to talk about fucking and weed and smoking oh, and yeah, all fucking that. drinking and yeah. every fucking thing. Yeah. All that shit. <laughs> Hangovers and all yeah, that. All that. <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Any, whatever. 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 You know, whatever Everything. you can come up with. And, I'm, and, I'm, and I want to work with, I don't got that many features. Mm-hmm. So this one is gonna have some features. I am very selective no. about Yay. who I deal with, of course. and I'm ready though. I'm open, and it's corn liquor, like mm. L I C K, her. Right. Mm. <laughs> okay, so you taking that's me to a whole good. nother okay. level yeah. with that one. Creative. Yeah. That's creative. Yes, that is real nice. Like that. that is okay. real nice. Got that's the a liquor whole license. Right there. Yeah, baby. <laughs> 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 the moonshine. <laughs> her. Okay. Yeah. Where was you at? No, I wasn't in the same <laughs> I was in the she, she writes in some weird I write, places. I do write in some weird so. places. And you, because I, I don't want to forget it. Right, right. right. I be forgetting. Right, <laughs> so you me too. I just yeah, I be that. putting up a little voice record all the time. When I got nothing yeah. in my head. I do it too. It don't matter where I'm at. Yeah. Yeah. I got, as long as I got my phone, we yeah. are all good. And you know, yeah. the only thing about it, because I'm writing my book, I'm and I can't take my too. book anywhere, mm. but I saw I'm getting the phone shit together. I was against it's it at first. I'm not going to lie. I was phone. against it, but then I, I was it's like, you know what? It's not. I had to do it because I, I smoke, I forget. So <laughs> me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, let me hurry up and t- take this out. And I'll like go as far as to think of a melody and some words. And I'll be like, all right. And then if I feel like I'm doing too much, I'll just pause it and be like, you know what? I'm I want to see your, I want to, I want to see, you know, I want to write with you and see the ass process. For real. I like yeah, that fucking song, but you think I'm not? And like I said, no, like yeah, it is the process, but it'll be like ten oh. songs. In like, like she, she do it so she's rapidly. She's such a story huh? writer. She, oh, okay. she do it so. Like, ten songs. Yeah. like I, I'll start off like I'll be like two sentences right here, and then I'll be like, but I'm thinking about something else. Let me come over here and do something over here, and then it'll end up being like, whatever. Like mm-hmm. one day she came over, I was in the house, rained in. She was like, "Girl, what you was in here doing?" I was like, "Girl, I got like nine songs." I yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Are you serious? About. I sang her all yep. nine of them. She was like, "Oh my God, this is crazy." And that's hunger too. Yeah, you for can't sure. get because I, 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 it was to a point before picking the pain I couldn't write. Yeah. Mm. Because I, I had to get that shit out. Uh-huh. Mm, yep, that happens happen to me all. And nobody the time. wants to write about that shit. Right. <laughs> no, oh, no, but I didn't even write about it. Nobody wants to put that me. Put that, right. that side of yeah, them out. My heart on my sleeve, yeah. be that vulnerable and shit. That I, I got like in my heart, but it's there. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Even though I do, but on another, but on another, another level. level. Yeah. All right, y'all. Well, I want to appreciate everybody who's tuned in today to the Jazzy Mingo Red Carpet Lounge, guys. Um, 
I usually air on Tuesdays, but we did this specially for Miss Pinky. Oh, for real? Because <laughs> I wanted it to be live, and I wanted oh, everybody to I see their good. dope performances. And I wanted to just big up women because I wanted to show y'all that we are united, we can come together, and we are supportive. Yes. So, guys, make sure you go tune in to the Silk White YouTube channel to check yes. out the Red Carpet Lounge. I am going to air this again on there, so if you guys missed it, you could catch it again. And also, follow me, uh, Miss Tiffany, on Love Hurts. Where can they follow you? Pinky Killer Corn on everything. That's P I N K Y K I L L A C O R N. That's Killer Killer Corn Corn. Hola. Hola. Yes, yes. And where they can find you? You can find me on um, Instagram under Mirage Stoner. M I R A G E underscore S T O N E R. Mirage underscore Stoner. Um, SoundCloud Mirage Stoner. M I R. A G E, wait, M I R A G E, yeah. S T O N E R. She ain't smoke, she forgot. Look, I'm right, I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> um, check out my music, y'all. And also, check me out on the theme song for Tell Death Do Us Part by Silk White. Yes, yes. y'all. Yes. On YouTube. Oh, and if anybody's working. looking to get yeah. into the web series, um, you can hit him up at good to the number two go films auditions at gmail.com. He's auditioning for some new web series, so make sure you go check that out, y'all. And where can they find you? All right, Mike Cartel everywhere. M I C K A R T E L everywhere. Yeah, I'm about to sing the Nikki song. You can, okay. shit, you can even <laughs> you can find me on Google, yeah, huh? Don't you? Do it, <laughs> All right, y'all. Until yeah. next time, we out. Peace out. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> This one for them haters, this one for my homies, this one for them bitches who always left me lonely. This for them politics, thinking they gon' control me. Stay true to this game is what my mama told me. This one for them haters, this one for my homies, this one for them bitches who always left me lonely. This for them politics, thinking they gon' control me. Stay true to this game is what my mama told me. This one for them fake niggas who said I couldn't make it. This is for them bitch niggas that seem me and can't face it. Uh, this is for my hood and nobody can replace it. Uh, Southside, I'm about my walk in the club without yeah. wasting. Yeah. Feds turn on they lights, ain't no use in me breaking. Yeah. So I hit the gas, just get past the dead end and I'm breaking. Uh, Why get buck with me? Do you understand what you're facing? Uh, Heroin and water, make some crack dealers show patience. Uh, ain't got no strap, but don't make me too trigger happy. I play with that trigger, then hit a lick and make the trigger happy. Make your chick just harmonize, they might have to free max B. It's time to Tax back all these motherfuckers that always want to tax me. This one for them haters. This one for my homies. This one for them bitches who always 